We knew that the fire was going to come down into Training Area 9, which, which could impact or could have impacted the cantonment. We conducted a backfiring operation, and that was uh, basically from Castillo Flats through Vasquez Road up to Del Venturi, all the way up to the first ford, the first water crossing. Um, that, uh, that firing operation was to uh, you know, impede that fire from going any further and to bring the fire coming together. It was very successful. It stopped the forward progression of the fire. Um, we did have a slop over or a spot fire of about 100 acres. That, that, that happens with fires and uh, luckily we had enough resources uh, to take care of that and now it looks very, um, it looks great too as well. So we're currently standing at an area which we would call a slop over and what that is is that's an area of a fire line that had some extra heat and crossed our lines via a spot fire or fire brands or ember wash into uh, the green area across a control line. We did have multiple patrols in the area as uh, there was active fire in the previous days. This was uh, phoned into Fort Hunter Liggett dispatch and also called by the incident management team uh, via report of smoke seen across the fire line. The Fort Hunter Liggett Fire Department and the DPW had a big part in this uh, with the preparation in uh, the holding and the burnout operation, uh, utilizing their dozers, their engines and crews, but they're also uh, in unified command with the local government and cooperating agencies uh, where they brought in additional resources uh, to remove the vegetation from the roadside. We used uh, what we call a VLAT, very large air tanker, uh, with a number of resources, uh, about 10 fire engines and two hand crews. It, the approximate time was Oh, about 45 minutes uh, to get the aircraft um, to drop retardant around the perimeter of the fire and then it took about between three and five hours to get somewhat of a containment on the what we're calling a slop over of the main fire. The doses were additional resources that we called in from other divisions. Uh, two of them happened to be Fort Hunter Liggett dozers and so we utilized them on the perimeter uh, to assist with getting a line around the fire. I'm currently overseeing uh, approximately over 50 uh, personnel. There's different complexities with all the fires. We're fortunate that we don't have a lot of urban interface and structures here. I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in Alaska and I'm a national firefighting resource and when I heard uh, you guys needed help I put my name on the board and I was assigned to this fire. 9-12 we had this Spot fire. So I was just getting a map where I'll upload it into uh, our GIS system so it'll be available for future maps. Firefighting uh, on the Los Padres National Forest and Fort Hunter Liggett is very challenging. I've never really encountered fire behavior like I've seen the last two weeks here. Um, very rapid rates of spread um, and then once you do get a line around it, it's very hard to contain that line for any length of time. It's very challenging out here.